Thumbnail silhouette sketches can be really great because they don't always need to be shown to other people. Sometimes they're just for you. Because of this, you're really free to tackle the challenge any way that you want to, and there's not really a way to cheat. So with this in mind, I like to cut up my thumbnails and use Photoshop's warp tool to get some extra variety. So let's say I've drawn this one thumbnail that I like, but I want to get a little more bang for my buck and see what other variations might be more interesting than what I initially came up with. So my first step is going to be to make a couple copies, holding down Alt with the Move tool, and each of them is made on their own layer by default. Now to mess with this guy a little bit, I'm going to start by making a marquee around the upper body, and then use the command Layer, New, Layer via Cut. And what that does is it cuts out what was in that selection and then pastes it onto its own layer. So now I have his legs and his body on two different layers. And once he's chopped up, I can work with each of these parts independently. So I'm going to move the body a little bit to the top, make a marquee slightly bigger than the outside dimensions, and then do free transform. And then once I'm free transforming, I right click and find the warp command. And here I can mess with this lattice and just play. And I find a shape that I wouldn't have come up with initially with a pen. I'll do a le little more extreme warping just to prove the point. And then I'll do the same with his legs. You know, you can chop up even further, again, layer via cut, transform things, and then warp if you like. Merge that back down so those two are one unit again. Transform even further, maybe warp once more. So you can see what I'm ending up with is way different than what it is I started with. In my personal workflow, I really like to use this idea when it comes to my second pass of the thumbnails. So you see here I've drawn up a number of thumbnails, and maybe I'm only happy with two or three of them. So I'll pick those two or three, put them onto the, the next sheet. These are the guys that made the cut. We'll say this one as well. And maybe this one. I can then forget about those initial designs I came up with and then plan to fill this new sheet with variations of these three. And I'll use the same chop and warp techniques that I showed you in the previous example. So here I've taken those three and done an additional two versions of each. Look how different they are. You might not even know that some of these were based off of their original version. Thumbnail drawing is as old as dirt. Illustrators have been getting out the pencil and paper and drawing thumbnails forever. But ultimately, what you're trying to accomplish is only a means to an end. This is just getting ideas out of your head and onto the paper. So if you can let Photoshop automate some of that for you, and maybe even come up with some ideas that you never would have with a pen, it's really worth trying. So have fun chopping up your thumbnails.